Hi Earth Signs, Taurus Cappy Virgo. Thank you for tuning in everyone. I really appreciate you being here with me today. We are going to be doing a reading for you lovely Earth Signs out there or to the cross watchers who are connected to an Earth Sign romantically. Um, and we're going to look at the overall underlying message. Um, so some cards that did come out for you as well as what's keeping you apart and the advice here for you and your connection. Uh, so if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting those, so I do have a few free spots. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign and your element, please feel free to do so. It would mean the world for you to join my YouTube fam. If you wanted to become a member of the channel, um, you will get access to extended versions. So you pay a small monthly fee and you get a, uh, access to all this extra content um, and extended versions. You can join the channel via the link. Um, Guess that's more for the super fans but um anyway let's jump into this reading here uh so this is for taurus cappy and virgo so underlying cards eight of cups the empress three of cups and the tower um what's going on on your side however is the left so let's hone in on that eight of cups the empress and the two of pentacles Okay, so I'm seeing some comparison happening from your side to someone from your past or comparison to previous relationships. So for some of you, I feel like you're in a stage where you're comparing and you're comparing a connection or a person to something that you've had before. Um, it could only be minor comparisons, but they are appearing or they are about to appear much more frequently. So I think there are some residual feelings that may be starting to pop up for some of you. Uh, because of that moon it's only very small it's cancer energy but it's in your corner and i'm thinking it's coming up and, and becoming this comparison this two of pentacles is also telling me that there is potentially like a bit of a um a bit of a juggling act um in a way okay so juggling between different connections different people um or this this comparison you're like ticking it's like you're ticking off a bit of a checklist here going okay well they have this and that's good they don't have that there is a closeness, and I feel like there's a lot of attraction with that Empress. I also feel like you're growing more as a person when you're since you've been with them or as you develop this connection with them. So that's that's a real big plus. But I feel like with the Eight of Cups, some of you want to you're feeling like something's missing. I don't know if you want to leave the connection entirely or just feel like you need to step back and take a look at things because they could be coming on more strongly than you are at least right now but i feel like with the empress it's like patience and she waits for things so i feel like i'm seeing a lot of you like waiting for something so you're waiting them for you're waiting for them to like maybe pop the question or you're waiting for them to reach out more or you're waiting to see a certain side of them that you haven't seen before there is something you're anticipating here and I think in time, it'll come. So whatever this is, it's going to show up. It'll show up eventually. But I feel with the Eight of Cups, I'm wondering if some of you are sort of ready to leave, if you're not going to get what you're waiting for. I don't know. It's almost like you've given yourself this ultimatum or this time limit. Like, okay, if they don't change by this, this time, or if they don't propose by this time, or if, you know, we're not moving in and living together by this time, I'm going to leave. Like, it's almost you're setting yourself up for a plan B. Okay, I'm getting a lot of plan Bs. Some of you have plan Cs, Ds, Es, Fs, and whoever. Um, it's like you've got people lined up. And if you don't yet, you will. On their side, things are a little bit different. I'm getting a friendship kind of vibe coming up. I don't know if that's hindering the growth. What's keeping them apart from you is that Ace of Wands. They also have the moon, so they too might be comparing you. They're mirroring you in that way. Either your past is somehow the same. You both feel for past exes or past relationships. You're possibly both still attached or it's like you're, com you're both comparing. I'm getting this vibe. It's creepy. It's like, it's creepy to the point where you're both doing the same thing to each other. But I'm getting friendship vibes with the three of cups. But the tower card is like that sex card, right? It's intimacy. It's physicality. So for them, they're feeling something different. They want you as a friend, yet they want to enjoy that pleasure. Ace of Wands tells me they come on strong, but sometimes they retreat. Okay, so the tower and the tree, I'm getting strong foundations. So the emphasis for this person is building a strong foundation. Now it's either in friendship 
You know, it's either you started on a physical sense and now this person wants to build more friendship, you know, get to know your character, do all, do all of that stuff, get to know that closeness. Or it's like your friends and now they want to build up that sexual chemistry with you. They're trying to build up one or the other, maybe even both. And that's their vibes, but I'm getting friendship vibes. Maybe this is more for those that are like a friends with benefits sort of situation or like if you want this situation to be more than that. Uh, it could also be like, um, it could also be like someone wants to just maybe take it back down to friendship level. I don't see them wanting to end things entirely, but it could be that they want to take things back to friendship level and just enjoy that courtship stage before committing into anything more serious. Because right now, they're enjoying that fast paced or whatever you, whatever sort of arrangement i guess um or wherever the connection is right now they're enjoying the aspect of it they're not really coming up with any cards that would indicate they want growth and stability it's more about i'm gonna do this and see how this reacts like it's very much about being in the present moment for them at least right now in this energy the tower card tells me they may have or may will sabotage something but again it's like a defense thing like i just want to stay friends so i'm going to sabotage it or i don't want us just to be friends i want us to be more so i'm going to sabotage something else like i don't think they mean it intentionally the moon is telling me it's more on a subconscious level but it's definitely coming up from their side earth signs the advice that you have interestingly is about friendship a friend is someone who knows all about you and still loves you so they're twins, so it's coming up as a twin flame connection. Um, twinning each other, mirroring each other. That's pictured in the twins in the image of the card. Also the fact that you both had the moon. So you're obviously mirroring each other in a lot more ways than you realized. Uh, but I also feel like friendship needs to come from both sides. I don't know if you need to work to get that spark back. Um, I don't know if you jump too quickly to the physicality, but this is more about taking a step back, the advice here, and like getting to know each other as people, like doing activities for them, them doing activities for you, a bit of compromise, um, maybe meeting or introducing, meeting this person's friends, introducing them to your friends. It's something about growing the friendship connection, you know, things like respect and trust and enjoyment um, and reliability all those things that come with a like a test to a solid strong foundation of friendship keeps coming up for you however it's going to work in your situation it's going to be different but that seems to be the advice here for you earth signs i will leave it at that so thank you again everyone for tuning in it does mean a lot um, hopefully we shall be in touch again very soon Thank you for all your support and your like, share, subscribe and signing up for channel membership. I really do appreciate that. Um, I will be in touch again very soon. So um, hopefully you'll join me once again. So thank you, Earth Signs, and bye for now.